Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Rhonda and this is New Moon Acrylics. So today I have two 9 by 12 canvases and I'm still going to kind of go with the sunrise sunset colors. Um, tonight's colors are more of the sunsets. So um, I've already flooded my canvases and what I'm going to do is I have just gotten these silicone uh, split cups so I want to test them out and see how they do these split cups came from uh, da, 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 da. okay I didn't write it down but I'll make sure that I look it up and I'll put it down in the descriptions so anyway um, these split cups come there's four to a pack and there's a two, a three, a four, and a five. So I wanna try the four, and I'm gonna put one color in each of the uh, spots here. And then for the other canvas, I'm going to do a ring pour, and I'm gonna just layer the colors in here. So, and I think I have finally figured out how to do these videos, kinda. I was apparently recording with my phone vertically and found out that I need to have it horizontally. Yeah, okay. Speak your words horizontally. There we go. Okay, <laughs> so anyway, if you are new to the channel, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back and let's get this party started. So what I'm gonna do first is um, I've already mixed up my colors and all the colors are creative inspirations with the exception of the base. The base is Craft Smart White, just mixed with paint and water. The colors that I'm mixing or have mixed are creative inspirations, Flow Troll and Water. And it is two and a half ounces of Flow Troll to a half ounce of paint to a half ounce of water. So what I have is dioxazine violet. You can see that. And then I have, and no, I didn't go crazy with the colors today. And then I have a cobalt blue. And then I have the quinacridone rose and the pearlescence. And I think these will do pretty well down here. So what I'm going to do before I start layering these is I, these are all the same brands, but I do want to have a little bit of reaction from here. So I'm going to add just a few drops of this spot on into it. This is a silicone. It's spot on treadmill lubricant. And you should just go add like maybe one drop my goodness excuse me one drop per ounce so I have about three and a half ounces in each so I'm just going to add three drops whoops in each and then you just give it a quick stir you don't need to stir it too too much just give it a little whirl All right, now first I'm gonna do this here. And I think I'm gonna do the purple on this side. I don't wanna go all the way up. And then I'll do the blue over here because you don't wanna have two dark colors together like so and then I'm going to do the white next to the the pearlescence next to the purple and then we'll do the pink next to the blue alrighty whoops I dripped okay 
So let's see how this puppy works. It is a little flimsy, but we'll see. Maybe I need to hold it back here. Maybe it'll pour better. All right, so we're gonna do this one first. And I think maybe I'll just do two ring pours. I'll do one like this and then one dirty and we'll see how they come out. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna turn this a little bit. And then come back the other way. You see my paint is already starting to travel over there. I'm going to do this in the center. And just see what that does in the center. Whoop. It was my bad. I did not level my canvases before I started. Let's do a couple little drips in here and see. All righty. So that's that one. I'm gonna tip that upside down and let that drain out. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and seeing that this one's already starting to do what it wants to do, I'm gonna go ahead and start to tip this one. And I wanna bring it back a little bit. All right. The paint was already a lot down that way. So I'm just gonna let it run a little bit towards the sides, like so, and bring it back. And I'm gonna let it, okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it this way. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And I dripped all over that other canvas. You see that? All right, I'll come back this way. Get this side over here. And then I'll come back down this way. Come back over here. I can fix that over there on that other canvas. It's no biggie. Okay, I just want to stretch this out just a little bit. You don't want to take too much paint off the canvas. Bring it back just a little. Okay, now if I do, let me stretch this out this way just a little bit. Still a lot of paint on the canvas. Okay, and I see, look at my hands, how pretty. All right, I see that the white is coming through and that's from the Craft Smart paint. Let me wipe my hands off a little bit. That's from the Craft Smart paint coming through. It's almost giving it kind of like a pearl effect. So what I think I want to try 
is, seeing that I already dripped on this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and scrape this off because I wanna see what happens. And it ain't no biggie because I can either scrape the table and reuse that paint, which will probably is gonna want it, what's gonna end up happening. That little bit down the side's not gonna matter much. Okay. So now we got rid of most of that white. I wanna see what happens when I don't have a lot of white down on the canvas. So, now I'm going to take this cup and I'm gonna layer the colors kind of the same way I did in the split cup. I'm gonna start with the purple. And the color that you have at the bottom is the color that's gonna come out last obviously. Do the white and then we'll do the pink. And then we'll do the blue. I think that white might have been just a little bit on the heavier side. So back to the purple. And then the pearlescence. Yeah, that was just disappearing down the bottom. I did not do a drip test, shame on me. I just all kinds of sorted out today. That's all right though. Oh, it sat that time. Okay. Purple. Yeah, I know I went off a little bit. That's okay. And we'll do the blue. And then the pearlescence. Okay. So there's my cup. Right there. And I'm gonna start doing a ring pour on this side. And I did not torch that, I'll get to that in a second. Alrighty, we'll start right about here. And here we go. Here comes the blue and the pink. And I probably have way too much paint in this cup for this canvas. And the higher you go with your pour, if you are way up here, and I know you can't really see that, but if you're way up here, your colors will get more muddied. So I like to stay down here and you can control how wide your rings are or how small by how, how your small circles go. I just cannot talk today, y'all. And there, this one's tipping already to that side too. It's like I've got a dip in my table or something. Uh, all right, let's try this hand. Okay, alrighty, lesson for next time. Make sure you level your canvases. All right, so let's get this one tipped out. And come down this way.
I'm just going to let it go ahead and run right off the side here. And do the same thing on this side. I'm just watching the weight of my paint and where it is. Okay, I'm going to go back down that side. I kind of wanted to keep some of them rings, but my canvases were not behaving. Plus, I think I had way too much paint. But that's okay, because look at all the paint I can scrape off the table for later. It'll probably make me a very, really pretty... I kind of like this. I know it's hard for you to see, I'm sorry. Okay. So there's the same colors. Let me wipe off my hands quick. These are the same colors and Totally different effects. Let me give it a quick torch after I'm done getting the schmutz off my hands. Alrighty. You see how the purple looks more prominent in here? It looks a lot brighter. I, say, I just refilled the torch. I know it ain't out. Well, there you go this is the split cup and this is a ring pour and I'm pretty sure that pearlescence it just kind of blended in here and I, when I bring you down you'll be able to see and over here can you see the inside of that cup look how pretty that is okay so I'm gonna bring you down and let you see the wet results Okay, here they are. These are the wet results. This side over here was the four color split cup. And I think it came out pretty cool. I'm really sorry about the lighting, guys. Up here is where that Craft Smart was kind of popping through because I had laid the base down of that Craft Smart white before I poured this. I love the way that kind of came out, the way the blue and the purple kind of got together here in the pinks. Okay, so that one's the split cup and we'll travel over here and this is the ring pour. It was just a layered cup, it wasn't a dirty cup, and look at what it did. That pearlescence, and I did mix in silicone in these, but that pearlescence really puts on a show. I kind of love the way these two came out. I don't think I'm going to do anything to either one. I'm just going to let them shine in their glory. All right, y'all. So when I come back, I will show you the dry results. All righty, I'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay, everyone, here are the dry results. This one is the one that I did with the split cup. And I think it came out pretty cool. They're not varnished or anything yet. That shine is just from the Liquitex. Um, not the Liquitex, I'm sorry, the Floetrol and the paints.
I love how they kind of stream together like that. I'm sorry for the glare. I'm trying to get it. And then all that up there, all those pearly like pieces are from the Craft Smart base paint. I think it came out pretty wild. Now this one over here is the one I did with the four section split cup. And it has a lot of character. And I know it looks like the paint is cracked. And I do believe it did crack some. And it could be because it was so hot and I did not have the air on in here and it could have dried at different levels the underpaint being dry before the top vice versa but once it's varnished you won't be able to tell because from back here it just looks like it's part of the painting there's so much character in here. But I do believe that that cracking is due to the high heat in my room here. So anyway, that's fixable. Like I said, the varnish will make that look like it's part of the painting. Because there's so many different details in here that it won't even be noticeable once it's varnished. All right, y'all. So there they are. Dry results from yesterday. All right, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, Please like and subscribe. And there's one other thing I wanted to point out. These were both the same paintings. Or the same paints on both paintings. This one cracked. No base. Same paint. And this one did not. Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm gonna have to try this again with different colors and see what happens alrighty folks again I hope you like the video and until next time let's keep trying to create something new bye